taking up question number 7. The value of the integral integral 0 to half 1 plus root 3 divided by x plus 1 whole square into 1 minus x whole 6 whole to the power 1 by 4 dx. A simple question standard format given we can solve it as integral 0 to half 1 plus root 3 we can also take this term outside the integral sign as it is the constant term divided by we can change it either to x plus 1 upon 1 minus x form or to 1 minus x upon x plus 1 form any of the two. Let us say I am changing it to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x form whole to the power 6 to the power 1 by 4. Now, we have in denominator 1 plus x to the power 3 by 2 while we had the term x plus 1 raised to the power half earlier. So, we need to multiply here x plus 1 whole square term. This is clear. Simple substitution required after this one that is put 1 minus x divided by 1 minus x upon 1 plus x equals to t or since the power is 3 by 2 in order to eliminate the radical sign we can also take it as t square. Simply differentiating on each side we have 1 plus x into minus 1 minus of 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x whole square dx is equal to 2t dt. Correct. Simplifying we can see that here x is cancelled we are left with simply minus 2 dx upon 1 plus x whole square is equal to 2t dt. 2 can also be cancelled out. Now, substituting this thing here we have integral equals when we put lower limit as 0 here it comes 1 when we put upper limit as half it becomes 1 minus half upon 1 plus half that is 1 upon 3 is t square meaning t is 1 upon root 3. This is clear ok. 1 plus root 3 is already there multiplied with for dx we can write here t dt because dx upon 1 plus x whole square entire term would be cancelled out. So, take it minus sign outside we have t dt let us draw a line here just to separate divided by this term meaning t cube. So, simply we are left with t is cancelled meaning dt upon t square its integral is minus 1 by t minus is cancelled. So, it is 1 upon t under the limit 1 to 1 by root 3. The term 1 plus root 3 is already there in multiplication as it was written here. When you substitute the values over here you observe the result as 1 plus root 3 multiplied with root 3 minus 1 or simply 2. So, this is clear. So, right here the answer for this question comes as 2 right moving to the next question that is question number 8 ok. Question number 8 one is standard question from matrices and determinant let P be a matrix of order 3 by 3 such that all the entries in P are from the set minus 1 0 1 then the maximum possible value for the determinant of p is. This is the standard question the result comes out as 4 simply, but if we try to get it how we are getting the solution set. Let us take a 1 1, a 1 2, a 1 3, a 2 1, a 2 2, a 2 3, a 3 1, a 3 2, a 3 3 correct. Now, determinant of sub matrix of order 2 when you take you find the possibilities like a 2 1 a 2 2 a 3 1 a 3 2 or a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 2 a 3 3. 
third one a 2 1 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 3. So, if we put the values like 1 0 minus 1 in it we can see maximum possible value for these terms comes out as 2 or minimum possible value as minus 2 because there is a possibility in the process of solution minus and minus becomes plus. So, we can see plus 2 or minus 2 when we take the values for this 2 by 2 term that would give us possibly the maximum possible value. You put here 1 1 and 1 and minus 1 then you get the result 2. It appears like it can give me a solution as 6, but it is not the case because when you write combination for any 2 as 2 and 2, the third instead of giving 2 will automatically yield result as 0. So, only possibility comes out for the maximum possible value. as 4. So, correct answer for this question is 4. So, this is clear moving to the next question that is question number 9.